Recon Team Bravo reporting in. Three and six in position. It's starting to get crowded up here, Cat. Then we're closing in. Reports any Covenant structures or devices. Direct action may be necessary. Copy that. <laughs> when Cat runs an up, direct action is always necessary. Here, you may need these. High velocity, armor piercing. They'll take the hat off an elite at 2,000 yards. And they ain't cheap. Hmm, I'll be in touch. Hey, hello everybody. Yeah, Craig Spartan here, back again with episode three of Halo Reach. Let's sneak up behind this elite here real quick. Assassination. Those are the best. Anyways, I wanted to bring up something, and it really came in, or really became evident at the end of the last episode, and with Dr. Halsey. Um, I wanted to talk about it, and Jameson Locke, uh, a subscriber uh, down below, is is probably even more into lore than I am. He, he is just incredibly into it. And he has the same problem I have with Halo Reach, and that the lore is not consistent. And like I said before, is Bungie has consistently did that. They just kind of did whatever they were going to do, um, which is rather upsetting because I don't know why they did that. Just there were so many good books out there at the time, uh, the Fall of Reach, uh, that established a lot of the lore. Um, for uh, Master Chief and of course the Spartan 3's even because uh, the Spartan 3's and the Fall of Reach they were not on Reach they actually in according to the books I don't ever recall any Spartans ever being on Reach because like I said Spartan 3's were tended to uh, go on suicide missions and it was just a one time thing um, other than that they kind of did not survive, and Reach just wasn't even their plan of training, nothing. Um, but that's uh, just one other thing here I want to talk about. And I really wanted to discuss Dr. Halsey and why uh, that is just such a bad addition to Halo Reach. All right, according to the books, and I believe it's First Strike... I believe it's first strike. Jameson Locke, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, what it did is uh, Dr. Halsey did not know about the Spartan 3 program at all in the book. Uh, the only way she kind of figured it out is that she stole Colonel Akerson's uh, records. You know, Dr. Halsey's been known to do that type of thing. Stole his records and found a file that said... S3. That's all it said. Uh, it didn't say anything else. Uh, like said, uh, like the the Spartan 3 program is this, that, and the other. Um, because it wasn't. It wasn't there. Period. All it was was some sort of small file that was labeled S3. And Dr. Halsey kind of figured it out that must be talking about Spartan 3s. And she set her coordinates on her stolen uh, craft. Uh, I believe she stole a pelican and went to Onyx. I said, uh, uh, Jameson Locke, uh, make sure you are uh, correcting me if I'm wrong down below. But what they did is she went there and discovered that Onyx, which was a shield world, and she discovered that's where Kurt, uh, Spartan 2, was still alive and, of course, trained the Spartan 3s. And Kurt did just about everything he could to make sure his Spartan 3s stayed alive out in the field. But that is why Halo Reach is such a problem lore-wise. Because the books say one thing and Halo Reach the game says something completely different. And as I'm getting shot up by this elite. Good lord. Die before I die. I don't want to die. 
<laughs> and that's where the problem is. That's why Bungie is actually probably a good thing to be gone because good lord knows what they would be doing uh, with the, the lore in Halo at this point in time. That's why I really have to commend 343. I really do. A lot of people uh, give 343 a lot of crap, but they took the lore and they made it their own and they want to keep it straight as much as they can. And they even tried, and I would have to, I don't know which book it is, but I remember Dr. Halsey being in a book basically said something about hearing rumors about Spartan 3s. And I couldn't tell you which book it is um, at this point. Uh, it's been so long and I've read so many at this point. Um, but that's just why I think Bungie is probably just better to be doing their own thing at this point. Oh, there's my light fair. Here we go. That's what I like. I love them challenges popping up, as you guys know. Let's see if I can't get through here. <laughs> I'm trying to get through here without dying. Um, and, and talking at the same time. It's, it's not an easy task. Take that gun. Oh, June. June. June took him out. Hey, nice job, June. Uh, just be aware. Be aware. June has been known to snipe other Spartans. <laughs> I have seen it while he's trying to shoot somebody. He, he will snipe you uh, without thinking twice. I got somebody up there. I just can't remember how I get up there. I think he can, oh, there we go. Go take this guy out. Because he's giving June a heck of a problem here. Oh, he is, like, way up there. Uh, how did he get up there? I don't know. Oh, you little... Gotta love that D-scope, huh? <laughs> this, this, is, this, is, this is sad. I'm, I'm getting shot. Oh, June, you should have said something. She should have told me that you got him. Let's go grab a health pack and I'm under fire. June, you're you're invincible. Calm down, man. Calm down. There we go. Alright. But Halo Reach did do a lot of really cool things. I mean, lore aside, uh like I said Bungie, I always had a problem with Bungie and um with that. But lore aside, Halo Reach did a lot of really cool things. One thing I particularly like is, oh, I'm gonna check out this thing real quick. Anybody remember the names of these things? I do not remember what they are called. I see. He's rather upset about them guys. I can't remember what these things are called. Well, kill him, June. Get, let's get her done already. They are tough. I hope we kind of see some of this stuff uh, in the future as well. Because, honestly, the rings were designed to carry and hold a lot of different fauna and uh, flora. And it would be really cool to see... If we go to another shield world or something like that to see something like this romping around, just giving us all sorts of problems. I remember, um, God, what was the book? Um, it was the one where we were talking about Chakas. I think it was a Gred Bear, Bear book uh, where he got... Um, Oh, composed. Where he got composed and put into the monitor of uh, 343 Guilty Spark. Uh, there was this big ape thing that was on the planet, and they were running around with it. And it was, it was kind of really cool to, to read about it. But it'd be really nice to see some of that stuff in game. Come here, bird. You're going to. You're gonna, yeah. Sorry, we're having turkey for supper. Or moa. Oh. Uh, as I was saying here, they did do some really cool things with Reach. My particular favorite was the campaign and the uh, armor. 
Every time you change your armor for multiplayer, it shows up in the campaign. And I honestly, I really believe that they're probably going to bring that back. Because if you take a look at the... Uh, at the uh, the screens or the cover art, Master Chief and Jameson Locke have a team. Um, I'm assuming that part of that team uh, is going to be you, of course, uh, playing Jameson Locke or Master Chief. But then, if you're playing with multiple players, they are going to probably spawn with their own armor. I mean, this is nothing confirmed, but I think that would just be really cool that you can play as your own Spartan, multiplayer Spartan, in the campaign again. And I, th I think that just really connects you. Ooh, there's another skirmisher. Logan, Logan, there's your skirmisher. Yep, yep, he's he's taking some. <laughs> I hate skirmishers. I think that would just be really cool to have uh, to be back. And uh, so we can really customize our campaign experience as well as... Here we go. G give me, give me something. Give me something here. Got some more rounds for my sniper. And I will take a rocket. No, I'm going to steal it back. All right. I think we still got a. Yeah. Here we go. Another drop shit coming in. This is a firefight zone, and this is the one I hate the most for firefight uh, mainly because there is just nowhere to hold up every room has like two or three entrances into it and it is a pain uh, to stay alive on this this map uh, firefight wise I and mean, that's just something I hope they don't do again uh, bring campaign stuff over to multiplayer side it is kind of I don't know lazy or I don't know they, they designed it and then threw it in the campaign and just made it connect I don't know what they did what their thought process on it was now what I would like to see is honestly taking things from the campaign and creating a kind of like a theme of it let's see if I can't take out a couple there we go um, you know, what was the uh, map? I think it's called Anchor 9, which is uh, uh, which was in the campaign, which is I think is the n next one. No, no, it's not the next one. It's um, ooh, this is probably going to be bad. Uh, but it's next two ones. Uh, second one. There you go. Go ahead and sit on that for a little bit. And um, Anchor 9, the space station, they made a map for that, but it's not the actual map. It's actually a um, map themed off of that area. It's like they made a whole different little space station, little anti-gravity area, which is really cool uh, to get around. You float around outside, um, that kind of fun stuff. And... That would just be really fun to have and see that. That's stuff I don't mind. However, like direct from campaign, that's just, I don't know. I don't know. Lazy? I'm not sure. I don't know what I would call it for sure. I'm not sure what they were thinking. But it's Bungie. You know, who knows what Bungie thinks. Let's see here. Oh, I'm out of rounds for this. I better, better get something. I'm picking you up a DMR. I think we're done here, so let's go well, ahead and so run off here. Plant, the gate doesn't work. All gonna drown? We use the riverbed to smuggle rations, weapons. Basically anything the UNSC considers contraband. Basically. Yep, basically. Oh, now there is a little trick up here. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but I probably ain't gonna do it. Um powers every settlement in the territory. Wait for him. That's kind of weird. Hey, Moa just disappeared. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's June. Ah, gotta hide, gotta hide. 
But uh, if you can do it, I mean, it cuts off a lot of time, especially on Legendary. Let's go ahead, head over here. There is that little spire thing. Yep, we're going to take that out. I probably should have waited. I think there's an elite up here. Alright, let's go... Kill these guys here. Uh, I said the trick is right up here. Let's see here. Now see this right here. This uh, forklift. What you do is you head over here. And this area is the next area you go to. You back it up right as close as you can get it. And this takes me about 20 times to get. And you just get out. And what it'll do is it'll set you on the other side of that wall. And you can go through the whole next area without killing anything because nothing spawns. You, uh, you beat the spawn system on it. Now, like I said, I'm not going to do that because it takes me a while. And you're probably just not going to want to watch that. But it's there. That's the place you can, you can do that. Uh, get some practice at it. Um, save yourself some time. Especially if you're doing speed runs. But I am not doing speed runs. Oh, that's how you take out an elite. Have a sit. Have a sit. Ooh, ooh. June. Oh. June is wicked. I tell you what. He'll, sh he'll shoot. Doesn't matter what's in his line of fire. You elites. Whatever. I think June has actually killed more Spartans. Uh, then everybody except uh, Cat. Cat was... There, there's no getting around Cat. She kills them all. If you let her drive, that is. They must be down low. Oh, nope, nope, not anymore. Alright, here is actually another zone that they took directly from the campaign and put it in multiplayer. It's called Powerhouse. Just another one of those things that Bungie did. All right, and let's see here. I think I have shotgun. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll keep my sniper. I think I get some more rounds here in a little bit. Take out these hunters. Come on. Give me a all right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. They're, holy smokes. I'm not exactly sure how I died. I think the side one just said, you know, you, we're going to kill you. So, yeah. Like I said, normal, you can get killed on normal. Um, it's fairly easy to do yet. Uh, that's why I chose to do normal instead of... Uh, Legendary, which you're just gonna sit here and watch me just keel over about 90,000 times. I think I did. Uh... Oh, wow! Ow! Ow! That that hurt. That 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 wasn't good. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> At least I'm right here, and it's not like a big deal. Or is it? I don't know. Let's go ahead and grab this. Grab the hologram. The hologram in Halo Reach was just not as good as in Halo 4. Halo 4's hologram was actually very useful, especially in campaign. I would constantly, constantly be using that uh, hologram, uh, and then I'd go up behind people who are, because they would be looking at the hologram. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know why this one's giving me such a problem. Come on, June, help, 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 help. OK, 
Got reload here, reload. You know, I'm actually, I was backing up a little bit as I was fighting that thing. Thank you, June. I think that's all of them here. Alright, I think we gotta place something here in this little pylon here, this dark area. Alright, there we go. Throw my hologram out there. I said at this point, though, the checkpoint's done. And uh, this has become irrelevant. And it's really hard to actually get this thing to work right. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, ow, ow, ow. There you go, fellas. Have some hologram love. Now, I have to admit, uh, Halo 4, when the hologram teabagged, that was the best. That was like... Sending out a tea bag out there for fun. Ah, uh, yeah. These turrets are actually... This one isn't too bad. This is just an energy turret. But the one that fires a fuel rod cannon... Oh my lord, that can be a pain in the butt. There you go. Took care of that elite. Just listen to this music here for a second. I'm going to turn it up. There's another checkpoint. I absolutely love the music. I mean, it's just the best. Marty O'Donnell was just so talented, and just say E3 is literally about what four weeks away. Wouldn't it be awesome if they announced Marty O'Donnell was picked up by 343? I don't know what Marty O'Donnell's doing right now, but if he if he does, and we get some uh, some of his music for Halo 5, I am done. I'm gonna be so happy. Just thinking about that. Here we go. Oh, I hate these these turrets here. Because the grunts just will keep getting into them as long as they can. There you go. Have a, have a seat, Jackal. Hey, my light fair challenge is complete. Yay! See, like I said, they're in it yet again. There we go. We got it destroyed. We're getting kind of close to the end here, guys. I think we got to go through this little area here. And we should be about done. Oh, there's an elite in that one. Yeah. It's been fun, though. I'm going to... I really appreciate all the comments down below, guys. I mean, it really means a lot that you guys would actually sit and watch me play this. Uh, when did this come out? In 2010? Yeah, four-year-old game. Five-year-old game. Come on, come on, come on. I think it came out in September. Did it come out in September? I think it did. But that's kind of weird, too. Coming out in September... No, this one didn't come out in September. This one came out in November. Uh, what was the other one? ODST came out in September. Go chase that. Chase, chase the hologram. Growl at it. There you go. There you go. All right, another checkpoint done. And I think clear this little area here, and I should be about done. Oh, that was a two for one. That was a two for. Oh, I am out of ammo. Anyways, guys, I think this is the end here. I do appreciate everyone watching. 
Uh, do leave comments down below. If you have questions and comments for uh, campaign-wise, story-wise, uh, feel free to drop them down below. Jameson Locke, keep me updated. Make sure uh, I'm telling you the right stuff. Thanks for watching. This is the Gray Spartan. I'm out of here. Chatbot. Transmitting visual. You've seen this cat? Confirmed. Receiving Nova 3 and Nova 6 live visual of a Covenant strike force. It's no strike force. It's an invading army. If we're gonna smother this thing, we need to go in hard and fast. Agreed. All recon teams disengage and fall back. Sun will be up in a few hours, and it's going to be a very busy day.